Hey, welcome back, Knife Nerds and Everyday Care People. It's your boy, the Big Connector, and I have got myself something that is a little diminutive, something that is a little bit uh, on the micro side, but damn well, it works. Damn it, it works, I have to tell you. All right. We are talking about, ta-da, the Spyderco McB. Now, I have to say that I am really, really quite... Um, I'm enjoying this knife uh, for what it is and what it's sized. I mean, I like really big knives and a lot of people may not realize the, how small this knife is because when you see it on, say, the Knife Center website, it's all blown up and it looks really huge. Well, let's have a look at this, what it's like against some of uh, the stuff out there. All right. If you've got a Dragonfly 2, it's actually smaller than the Dragonfly 2. And let's see. If you happen to have a Police 4 out there, <laughs> yeah, there we go. That's the size of the McB. It is, damn, it's small. Um, but it is actually a great little cutter, and it's a knife that I'm thoroughly enjoying. Now, not every knife needs to kill a brontosaurus like this uh, Spartaco Police 4 is. I mean, this thing here will hack your way out of the Amazon. It'll kill a, a buffalo and, you know, skin it and um, be ready for more. Where this little bugger here, the Spyderco McB, I think they call it a McB because it's used for skinning bees. Because <laughs> it is diminutive, it is tiny. Another, here, one more thing what we'll do here is have a look at this picture. This is the McB right next to the scar uh, on my leg. Everybody's been asking me how, how I'm doing, how I'm doing. Well, here's a picture of the scar on my, knee, my leg and right beside the McB. Pretty damn, pretty damn small, isn't it? But... Let's go over some of the uh, specs on this and then we'll go over what I think of this. All right, let's go here. And here we go. Overall length, I'm gonna take my glasses off because I can't see, is 3.85 inches or four, uh, 98 millimeters long. Uh, closed length is 2.33 and or 59 millimeters long. Blade thickness is three millimeters. So it's a little bit thick on there, especially for the size. Uh, now it is only has only comes in tip up, but it's not tip up, tip down. Uh, it's not left or right carry. It's right hand carry only. Uh, the blade length here, a massive 1.52 inches long, uh, with the edge length of 1.49, and uh, the handle is of course made of uh, titanium. Uh, now the blade here is uh, made of my actual favorite steel. It's the CTS XHP. And even though this one is pre-owned and I put a little bit of edge on there, I actually have another one right here that is actually going out to a friend of mine. He actually, uh, we made a little bit of a deal, so I ended up getting him a brand new one. And uh, that's going out to him there. Uh, by the way, Jason, uh, it's on the way and you're going to love it. All right. And I got to say thank you so much, Jason, for your crazy patience. I ordered this in specifically for him and it took a while. All right. <clears throat> Now, this is made in Tai Chung, Taiwan, so the fit and finish is excellent. And it's got all sorts of little features on it that I think are absolutely amazing. Now, let's go to the weight. 1.7 ounces or 48 grind or 48 grams. It's it's virtually, this is like, to me, the, the perfect uh, fifth pocket carry. It is small, square. Um, it's excellent. And it has really neat stuff on it that just, I think you got to see to believe it. You know, the scalloping on this pivot just an extra little touch. Uh, you got the speed holes here. Um, now you've also got the scalloping here on both sides, as well as the scalloping inside here on your frame lock. It is a, a reuse integral frame lock. Um, it, you know, it's a little bit of a square headed thing. There's no real crazy jimping on it, but it's really nice that I love the shape of this blade. It's, it's totally designed here to fit your fingers and do some sort of kind of, you know, draw cutting on there. For sure, absolutely. Like you're not going to get more than two fingers on here. Now, this here was designed by a gentleman by the name of um, uh, Jonathan McNeese, and he has a version that is very, very similar called the Killer Bee. And this thing here is so close to the custom version. Now, this is, <clears throat> if you're going to get yourself a McNeese custom Killer Bee, it's quite a bit more money. But a lot of people will be looking at this. Uh, in the States, it's about 160 bucks for one of these. In Canada here, you're looking at a little over 200, you know, 219, 220, 215, just all kind of a little over $200, depending upon where you go here in Canada. And a lot of people look at that and they're like, holy cow, that's a lot of money. But it is excellent design. Um, the fit and finish is near perfect on this. 
Um, the design for what you have here, the workability for, if you're gonna get yourself a 1.5 inch knife to be doing some box opening and cutting and stuff like that, damn it, get yourself a Spyderco McB. I love this little knife. It sits perfectly inside the bottom of my pocket. It fits perfectly in the fifth pocket that I have. Um, I can wear, I can throw this in my pocket if I'm wearing a pair of sweats or a pair of shorts. It's so light. And you know what? Nobody is going to mistake this for being a murdery knife, <laughs> for sure. So if you have one of these and you want to carry a little bit of a pocket knife just to say open up boxes of the odd leather, get yourself a McNeese. You're going to have nobody in your office batting an eye at this little bugger here right here and the, the materials are absolutely top notch now i i just kind of dropped this off a little bit ran over some stones so i, I want to give this my kme um edge on it because damn it i cts xhp when it is razor razor sharp it's sticky sharp and it stays that way for a long time this is my favorite favorite uh knife steel of all time is a CTS XHP and I love this finish. It's almost like a stone wash mirror finish. Very reminiscent of the, the Sleesh uh, lines. You've got the Techno 2 that's like that. I think the, the Sleesh Bowie, the original one is that is that uh, uh, mirror polished uh, stone wash um, finish and I, I just love it. You know, if I was if I was Nick Shabazz, I'd be wearing a Batman mask, but <laughs> I'm not Nick Shabazz and I nor do I have a Batman mask. I'm more of a Marvel guy, actually. But now you're gonna be able to use this truly one-handed. It's one-handed opening. Like you can kind of flick this out if you get it on a real good day, especially a thumb flick. I have Spidey flicked it the odd time, but it is so small that I, I just don't feel the need to kind of Spidey flick it because uh, it, it's more or less, I'm gonna drop it. And you don't have the same amount of access to the hole on the the, the lock side as you do on the show side. So it is way more easier to spidey flick or to thumb flick than it is to um, to spidey flick. And there is, uh, now this being kind of a so close to a McNeese uh, Killer Bee, Jonathan McNeese on his website has got all sorts of little ads and odds and ends for this. You can get yourself a little custom clip on there that looks absolutely gorgeous. Uh, you can get a little thing that comes out the back of Backspacer called the, uh, it's called the Stinger and it just allows you to have that little bit of extra. So it gives you from a, a two finger carry to a three finger carry. And it is a neat little thing. It's called a, a stinger. And I wouldn't mind getting one myself, but I can't find a way to any place to buy them. So if you know where to buy the, the Spyderco, uh, the, the uh, McNeese stinger or a stinger for this, let me know in the description here as well. Cause I would appreciate maybe perhaps getting one of these. Just the, the things that this thing can customize uh, to I think is absolutely so cool and so amazing. And I really, really like this knife. Um, I was wondering, first of all, when I first got this, and I looked at it, uh, I bought this used uh, from a gentleman out in Ontario. And I was wondering, oh my goodness, is this thing going to be um, usable when I first opened it up? Because I didn't realize, I was like everybody, I thought it was a little bit bigger knife than this. And then when I actually started using it and started kind of cutting some things with it, and the more I had it in my hand, the more I liked it for sure. Um, it felt just so comfortable in hand. And not only that, it just, man, you know what? <laughs> when you got small things, buddy, they all fit somewhere, I have to tell you. And this one fits perfectly when you need it. Uh, and I, I absolutely love this knife. And I'm gonna give this a nine out of 10. And the reason I'm not gonna give it a 10 out of 10 is because it's not 100% perfect. I'm a little bit worried about this um, this over travel, not having an over travel stop. I kind of, you know, you can't. I think for the amount of money, having a little over travel stop because this is a um, quite a big, uh, quite a small knife, and it is not a whole lot of titanium that's holding this in. And I did notice that when I actually open it up and I go to close it, I can really pull on that really easily. I'm afraid I'm gonna get Rami one day and give it a little bit too hard of a pull, and then she's gonna be sprung over and I'm gonna to have to either try to bend it back. Um, so that's the other thing that just, I wish it had a little bit of a travel stop there, and that would make me feel a little safer with it. Now, I think this is an excellent, excellent knife. Uh, I think if you're in the market for a small, tiny knife, and you're not a real big knife guy, or you're kind of, cause some people have, some people get knives for just, just more than just a tool. They get them to, as objects just to have. And you know what? Um, it's like in this particular one, 
uh, it reminds me of uh, one of my favorite TV shows was The Big Bang Theory, and uh, Sheldon went to the train store to look at the model O gauge trains, and the trains were even smaller than he was used to, and it was like the smaller the train, the more concentrated the fun, and that's almost like what it feels like with this Big B. I can see if this was something that was just this is this is a very small knife. It's very usable, but it's very also very very plain. You know, it's FRN. You know, it does have the ZDP one eighty nine steel, but it's a backlock. It's you know, it's yada yada yada. I just kind of wish, but because this one has got all sorts of the interesting stuff on it, like with the scalloping and the holes and the design and the steel, and I just think it was so much nicer. And the other thing too, I wish it had was perhaps the this this clip on it. I think the wire clip would have looked way better with this, but then again, you wouldn't be able to use the, um, get the, the old McNeese custom clips, I suppose, but I don't know. I just wish it kind of had the spider, had, I wish this either had the McNeese custom clip on it, because when you look at it, you're gonna realize how much nicer it is, or I wish it had the wire clip on it. That's my, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. So, if you liked what you saw here, don't forget to please, please uh, share, like, and subscribe. And also, if you're out there, please stay safe. Keep your stick on the ice, the shiny side up. This is the Big Canucker saying adios.